Oh man, what's going on y'all? Hey y'all, welcome back to the vlog, Reg here, and those of you who have been following along have been probably wondering where my next recovery video was going to be, um, or has been. And I have to tell y'all that I got to step five and I'm still in step five and I thought it looked, the way that it was working out, I was doing a step a month and the steps were lining up with the actual month and so that was really cool. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna be in step five for a long time. There's a lot of, um, uh, and if y'all remember that step five was admitting to oh, one's higher power to oneself and to another human being, the exact nature of one's wrongs. And so there is a lot that goes with admitting to another human being the exact nature of one's wrongs. And so um, that's where I've been. Um, so here's Jack. Jack is here with me at Altspace. And that's been wonderful. Uh, so this is just gonna be a little bit of a, an update video, but I am gonna talk about um, recovery from a, a slightly different perspective than from my own recovery and from recovery in general. So, What's been going on in the world? There have been, in Texas, if you're, you know, if you've been watching the news, you know that there's been, there have been several violent acts of terrorism, domestic terrorism, and those actions have been tied to manifestos of white supremacy. And there seems to be a climate of fear, in the United States at least, that white people are under threat from immigration, that white people somehow are going to lose something. I don't know. And um, it appears to me that the, the only thing that can be lost is this idea of you know, white dominance. And I've begun to think about looking through the lens of recovery to think about you know, how is racism, how is white dominance kind of a, oh, it's gotten really noisy, kind of the drug that American society has been raised on. And it, if you think about the genocide of the people who were here when the Europeans arrived and what was done to Africans to support the building of wealth in the United States, it, uh, there, we kind of, you know, as a country, we've, we've used this idea of the lesser humanity of others as a quick fix to kind of grow ourselves and done it at the expense, I think, of our own humanity and the planet itself. And so I wonder if it is possible for us to start thinking about some of the trials that we go through, some of the ills that exist in our society as forms of addiction to types of thinking and types of behavior that fill a void, but is that they're not exactly in our best interest. So what would happen if, for example, we looked at our consumerism under through the lens of recovery? What would happen if we looked at sexism through the lens of recovery, if we looked at all of the compulsive the violence, warmongering, all of those things through a lens of recovery and as a society kind of went through the 12 steps. First of all, admitting that we are powerless against these things. We're powerless against these conditions and it will require for each of us something larger than ourselves to overcome these issues. And so that's what's been on my mind. And I don't wanna make this video too long. Uh, I really wanna stick with recovery just so that you know things are going all right. Um, there were programs here this summer. I got to do a wonderful two week program with a group of LGBTQ plus youth, most of them trans or at least half of them trans uh, at a place in Ferndale called Affirmations, and that's something that looks like it's gonna be a regular summer thing for me. But all that to say, um, um, yeah, things are still going all right. I'm here with Jack, and Chris is still in Brooklyn, and I'm in Detroit, and 
that's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace.